Welcome to The Ambassador, a prophetic teaching ministry designed to help win the nations and equip the saints. And now, join Craig DeMoe with his special guest. Well, God bless you and thank you so much for joining us for this week's prayer broadcast. And helping me this week is David O'Brien. He's been our guest for the last couple of weeks. Been a real blessing to this radio audience. And we are right on the cusp of Resurrection Day. And uh, so we are just getting a resurrection in our understanding of Christ and His Church. And it's just a wonderful thing. And uh, so thanks so much for being with us again, David. Oh, very, very welcome. Thank you. Praise God. You know, we're going to mention again that everybody should get a copy of David's book called Return to Acts Christianity. There's going to be some information toward the end of the broadcast about that. But uh, there's something that you share in your book, which is so wonderful, because it really casts a great vision for Christ and his church. And just like uh, uh, Martin Luther King preached uh, his message called "I Have a Dream," you have uh, you have there's a there's a take that you have on that called yeah. "I Have a Christian Dream." You, you're casting a vision, and I just yeah. want to ask you to share that with the listeners today. I have a Christian dream that one day God's people will walk with dignity, with shoulders held high, knowing their identity as royal priests in the kingdom of God that Jesus' people will be recognized by the world for their strength of character, their courage, generosity, uprightness in money matters, distinctiveness in the way they value and live out the covenant of marriage, sacrificial love for one another, and mercy and love for their enemies, that the purpose and thrust of Christianity will become the completion of Jesus' great commission, proclaiming the good news and making disciples, and that this purpose will burn hot in the blood of every disciple that the equipping servants will care more about God's people ministering than about their own platform, image before men, or paycheck, that elders in each city will unify, recognizing their part in the one flock in their city, and pray and work together for each sheep's development and safe arrival in Jesus' coming kingdom, that sincere believers will all unify in heart, in thought, in purpose, in respect, under the one head of the body, Jesus and lose sight of human organizational or minor doctrinal divisions. And that what's come to be known as church will reform to match the New Testament scriptures with freedom and full participation of every member of Jesus' body for the full edification of God's people and salvation of the world. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You know, that's just uh, our prayer today, that we would see the restoration of yes, that yes. vision for the church, that we would get it in our hearts, and we would just allow Jesus to be the king. Praise God. David, I just want to ask you to lead us again this week to the throne as we pray for the sick, and uh, just go ahead and lead out, and we'll, we'll begin to minister right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, you've put your greatest treasure in us, and it's yourself. We have the unending yeah. treasures of you in us, and they go on forever. Thanks that we are your brothers also. We're in the family of God and co-heirs. Thank you for the people of God listening. They are exalted. No matter what they look or feel like, thank you that they are so exalted in Christ. We can't, no one can fathom it. Thank you for the healing you provided, you provided on the cross for them through the the death and the the wound and all that you took. Thank you that you now administer to it, it to us and that you just bless us. Thank you, Father, that your people listening right now can hear as I say, be healed. In the name of Jesus, let the yes. sicknesses right now meld off of people right now. And diseases, all infirmity, go. Weakness, go. Tiredness, go. Yes. Unclean things, go. In the name of Jesus. God is for you, really. not against you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We just thank you for it right now, Lord. Praise God. Uh, I'm just seeing a manifestation of a Psalm 34, verse uh, 20 miracle, that he strengthens all our bones. Not one of them is broken. Praise God. And and there's people that that have had problems in your bones and your joints, and you're being restored right now. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Jesus 
is better than any chiropractor. He's better than any osteopath. Praise God. He is doing a work in your life right now. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. What are you seeing, brother? Thank you, Jesus. I see that I just am seeing sheep, and maybe it's a little different. It's what we've been teaching about. You are God. Yes. You are Jesus' choice sheep. And I see, I saw that the fleece was very fat. You're, you're, full, you're fat. You're cared for. You're, you're taken care of by Jesus. I want you to see yourself as yes. his beloved sheep that he's caring for. You don't have to. There's no mediator between us and him. He's the shepherd. If there's other shepherds, they help too. But he's your shepherd individually. He cares for you that much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Now, this is a physical condition. Of course, it has a real emotional impact. But, you know, along the lines of bones, I'm just seeing this right now. Somebody is being healed of vertigo. Praise. You know, you're not going to go through those episodes anymore. Anymore. Where it's like you have no balance and you just want to die. You're not going to go through that anymore. You have a reason to live. God ha has sustained you. He has kept you alive, and he is restoring you physically. He is restoring you emotionally. He's getting you out of that situation that you've been in. And, you know, you will be like Peter that Jesus spoke to and said, Now you go and you restore my brethren. Thank you, Lord. And you have a real compassion for people already, and, and you're willing to kind of get down to where on people's level and to just love on them, and that's great. But you're going to do so with authority now. You're going to be able to say, God did this for me, and he's going to do it for you. And you're going to be able to give people an assurance that they didn't have before, and you're going to speak his word, and his word is going to go forth, and it's going to heal the sick. And it's going to deliver those that are oppressed. And it's going to bring salvation to the lost. And it's going to bring answers to those that are confused. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Wherever you are right now, whatever you've gone through, I want to ask you to send us your testimonies. Be a blessing. Praise God. Are you seeing anything else, brother? Thank you, Jesus. Just that again, amazing. I got something else about Jesus. He said about himself, I am the door. I'm the door to the sheepfold. And so I just want to say, don't put your trust in men. Uh, as great as they may be, as sincere as they may be, and they may be sent from God, you, utilize their services. But he's the door. Yeah. He's the only door. He's the door into the sheepfold. He's who got, how you got in, and he's, and, and he's the focus. So he's your entrance. Go through him into all God has provided for you. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, that, that's the thing. It's, it's like the Scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians 1, verse 30, that Christ has been made unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, redemption. Really, he is our all in all. It's from him, through him, and it's to him. He is the, he is the central figure of the church, yes. and he's the and center of our lives. And if anyone tries to take his spot, we need to run from that kind of person. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yeah, it doesn't matter who I am. If it was me, I, you know, run for me if I try to take his Same spot. Here. Because we want Jesus to be exalted. Yes, Jesus. He is Jesus. the head of the church. We're out of time for today, but David, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, praise God. Be sure to get a, a copy of, of David's book. His information coming right up. The Lord bless you. Join us on Monday. David O'Brien's insightful book, Return to Acts Christianity, The Reformation God and His People Are Yearning For, is available as an ebook for a gift to this ministry of any size. This 240-page book will teach you about leadership the way Jesus initiated it how desperately in need of reformation we are, and how you can be a part, how to get back to the basics of our faith, plus so much more. The understanding you gain through this resource may be just what your heart is yearning for. So we invite you to get this ebook now. Just contact Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon 97280. Include an offering when you request Return to Acts Christianity by David O'Brien. You'll be glad you did. We'll need your email address for the ebook. 
or request information about hard copies before placing your order. God bless you. I want to share with you a great opportunity to preach the gospel around the world without leaving home. We're told in James 1.27 that an example of pure devotion to God the Son and God the Father is when we visit the orphans and the widows in their affliction and by the grace of God remain unspotted from the world. When we read this passage and don't take it with a legalistic mindset, but see it as an opportunity, God begins to move in our lives while at the same time moving through us to express His love to those in need. Acting on this scripture is a great way to express gratitude to God for all His love and faithfulness in our lives. We're coming up on the celebration of the resurrection. And working with our ministry partners in Pakistan, we want to bless 100 widows in Karachi with life-saving materials that will make a big difference. So many of these women have been abandoned by their husbands who leave them to raise a large family on their own. Others have husbands who have died. But unfortunately, in both cases, they don't have a social safety net in that country. And it's not easy to remarry under those conditions. That's why, working with our ministry partners, we want to assemble large gift bags containing food, spices, clothing, and a lot more, and present them to as many widows as we can during a celebration in their honor. One gift bag costs only $32, and you can sponsor one or more of these bags. Or you can give a donation of any size and designate it for Pakistan widows. I want to encourage you to help us help these widows this Easter. And speaking of Pakistan, let me also announce that next month I'll be ministering the gospel in Pakistan after preaching and teaching in Nigeria. Now I know that some would not consider these countries the safest places on earth, but God is moving in these places in a big way. Starting in mid-May, I'll be in Nigeria. My main activity there is to preach at a Bible university that's been using my divine healing training manual for over a decade. At the end of May, I'll go to Lahore, Pakistan to conduct meetings and be interviewed for television before holding crusades in Gujranwala, Islamabad, and Karachi, in addition to leaders' conferences. And before coming home, I'll be ministering in churches in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. I covet your prayers, and as the Lord leads you, I ask you to partner with us financially to cover the many expenses on this strategic outreach. Let's reach the nations and equip the saints. God has given us a wide open door to preach His gospel around the world. Now, as I leave you today, I just want to remind you that you are God's ambassador. You're His representative on the earth. Bye for now. You've been listening to The Ambassador with Craig Demo. Your testimonies and prayer requests are very important to Craig. Please write Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. This ministry is sustained by the faithfulness of God through our partners and friends. To find out more about partnering with the Lord through this exciting ministry, contact Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. Our web address is ambassadorministries.us. That's ambassadorministries.us. May God richly bless you.